On this slide, we'll briefly cover the concepts of volumetric weight in the air freight industry. Air freight cost is generally calculated on a weight basis, but the cost of an air shipment may be affected by the place the cargo takes on the plane, and not just how much it weighs. To reflect this, the industry implemented the volumetric weight, also known as dimensional weight, concept. The industry common rule says that 6 cubic meters of space are considered the equivalent of 1 metric ton. We will now look at a couple of scenarios and calculation methodologies to help understand this concept. In our following example, we want to send by air a case which is 120 centimeters long, 80 wide and 60 centimeters high. In our first methodology, we'll start by calculating the volume in cubic meters. To do so, we'll multiply the length by the width by the height and divide it by 1 million. Hence, 120 times 80 times 60 divided by 1 million, which gives 0.576 cubic meters. Then, based on the rule that 6 cubic meters equals 1 metric ton, we simply divide the volume in cubic meters by 6, which in our case gives 0 0.096 metric tons, or 96 kilos of volumetric weight. And we will then simply compare this volumetric weight and the real one, and take the highest of the two. In our example, the volumetric weight we just calculated is 96 kilos, whereas the real one is 187 kilos. Therefore, to calculate the freight rate, we will use the real one or 187 kilos. Now that you are familiar with the concept, we'd like to show you a shorter and faster methodology. We once again multiply the length by the width and the height, but this time we divide it by 6,000 and this will give us directly the volumetric weight in kilos. In our example, 120 times 80 times 60 divided by 6,000 gives, as predicted, 96 kilos of volumetric weight. This second methodology is the one we propose to use for calculating volumetric weight using the imperial measurement system. Let's imagine that our case this time measures 50 inches by 40 for a height of 30 inches and a gross weight of 320 pounds. To calculate our volumetric weight, we will multiply the length by the width by the height in inches and divide this by 166, which will give us the volumetric weight in pounds. So 50 times 40 times 30 divided by 166 gives us a volumetric weight of 361.44 pounds. This weight is generally rounded up to the closest half pound or half kilo. If your contracted rates are calculated using kilos, you can simply multiply this result by 0.454 to get your volumetric kilos. Once again, we compare the volumetric to the real weight, and this time we'll use the volumetric weight 361.5 pounds as it is the highest of the two. We hope you'll now be familiar and comfortable with the air freight volumetric weight concept following these two examples and methodologies. To finish off this slide, we'd like to mention three last points. First of all, please note that the volumetric factor may vary from one provider to another. For example, the large integrators will often impose a rule of 5 cubic meters to 1 metric ton, which plays in their favor. And some airlines or providers even try to enforce 4 cubic meters to a ton. Also, if you have contracted airlines available for the business you support, the volumetric weight coefficient should be defined in these contracts. Finally, 
Please be aware that volumetric weight is also used for other modes, for example ocean brake bulk or truckload, but with a different coefficient and possibly different calculation rules.